Charles Cowley here, uh, financial advisor to small business owners and their teams. We're here today celebrating with my friend Lisa Glennis and her new law firm. You can see it's all in the glass, it's all fancy here. Lisa, congratulations. Thank you, Charles. We appreciate you guys coming. This is awesome. So one, two, three. Three locations. Three locations now. Yes. So so tell, how does it feel to have, now this location is closer to where you live. It is. I live in Smithfield and I fell in love with the community. It's just so welcoming here that it was kind of a no-brainer to open an office here when this building became available. We just jumped on it. Mm -hmm. So we have our original location in Nightdale and that will never change. We will always be in the city, but okay. wait for some news about us moving down the street coming okay. up soon. Right. We have a location in Garner and now we have the Smithfield location and we are not leaving this one. We love this spot. So the, so the million dollar question, Lisa, is how, how does Lisa, I know you're awesome and incredible planner. I am. How can you be in three <laughs> locations at once? So first of all, I actually physically work out of this office every Thursday. Okay. I physically work out of Garner every Wednesday, mm -hmm. and I'm in Nightdale the rest of the week. But in order to make it easy on people, we have Zoom in every office. So we have massive flat screen TVs in okay. each of our conference rooms. Because one of my paralegals speaks Spanish, occasionally I'll have a client here in Smithfield who needs some translation help. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to take their kids out of school to come sit and talk to the lawyer. Mm -hmm. So we just fire up the televisions and Sherlyn is just as good as if she's in the room. Okay, awesome. So technology, that's what, how we do it. What a great idea. Now you, you said earlier, you were mentioning when we were talking, something about uh, a special type of notary where you don't have to physically be there for notary how did, yes how I, that i'm an electronic notary and okay. all three of my paralegals will be by the end of the year okay. so the secretary of state she's wonderful has finally gotten passed through the legislature ron which is remote online notary okay north carolina has always been an electronic notary i could come with my ipad okay. and sit down next to you mm -hmm. and you would sign electronically and then i would sign and put my notary stamp on it it's mm -hmm. called ipin in person okay. electronic notary nice. but now we have ron and remote online notary means we don't have to be in the same location for me to notarize the documents for you we got it during covid a lot of other states already have it mm -hmm. but it's so important especially for our older clients who don't find it as easy to get out mm -hmm. who are struggling with health issues for them to be able to not have to come into the office and maybe get you know in contact with someone who's sick mm -hmm. if they have health issues so remote remote online notary is the future of all notary and we will have four of them in our offices okay. that makes sense yeah all right so uh, the type of people that use your services the most are what professionals? So we got real estate people, right? We do residential and commercial real estate closing, okay. so I have a lot of clients who are real estate agents. Okay. We also do estate planning and probate, so I have a lot of people okay. who come to us because what they need, as they come to you to do their financial planning, mm -hmm. they're coming to me to do their end of life planning, mm -hmm. but they're also coming to do the while I'm alive planning because powers of attorney are the most important things any of us mm. can have even more so than wills especially for young folks okay. because I don't have much when I'm 20 to leave mm -hmm. but I do need to make sure somebody's got my back if I get sick and I can't pay my own bills or somebody needs to communicate with the doctor on my behalf mm -hmm. awesome awesome so guys here's another location if you live in, in Joko we call it Joko Johnson County uh, that's it, right? right John? You said it right. All right. So, or you're in Nightdale, or you are in Garner, and you need estate planning. Here's your girl, uh, your lady, I should say. Girl works for me. All right. All right. <laughs> if you're a realtor and you need something, someone that's very, very organized and on point and does a really good job of explaining all the documents before they sign at that all nervous time of closing on a real estate piece of property. Yes. This is the place you want to come. So. Thanks for joining us, guys. We're so excited for you. Thanks, Charles. We appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for having me. Thank you.